<clears throat> Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Wakasatyam, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all the brethren out there, unto all the hopeful elect, unto the house of David. The true name of the Heavenly Father <clears throat> is Yahweh, which means he exists, that he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. Okay, and we're in the last days, the last seconds of the last days to be exact. Okay, we're living in, <clears throat> in the book of Revelation. You're living in the time of the apocalypse, man. Okay, and everything that has been written down by the prophets is coming to pass. All right. So this right here is an article from Reuters. It's two days old. All right. <clears throat> October 8, 2023, 620. Two days ago. Okay. It says Afghan earthquake kills 2,445. Taliban said. As that's mount. So they're still counting pretty much. But more than 2,400 people were killed in earthquakes in Afghanistan, the Taliban administration said on Sunday, and the deadliest tremors to rock the quake prone mountain in its country in years. The Saturday quakes in the west of the country at 35 km <coughs> northwest of the city of Herat, with one of, with one of 6.3 magnitude, the USGS said. They were among the world's deadliest quakes this year after tremors in Turkey and Syria killed an estimated 50,000 in February. Okay, so we have earthquakes. The earthquakes are there. <clears throat> this is a website by the name of War News 24-7, right? Now, it's a Greek website. If you pull it up on Google Chrome, it should translate. Let me see if I can get it to translate. Because <clears throat> from here, we get our wars and uh, rumors of wars. There's also talk of pestilence. You know, everything Yahweh Shai spoke about in Matthew 24, everything that's written in Mark 13, everything that's written in Luke 21. <clears throat> okay. And uh, excuse me, a little under the, the weather. But well, that's all right, though. And I also tried to do this video, and the phone went haywire. But you know what? There's no stopping this truth, man. All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shai. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Excuse me, my phone has been acting up all day. Let's see if I can get this to load. Yeah, but while that's loading, you know, there there's a lot <clears throat> there's a lot going on, man. You know, next Saturday, October 14th, you know, let me see if I can go back to that. Check this out. Angular solar eclipse will turn the sun into a spectacular ring of fire this weekend. Out around Radizal, that'll be the next video. That's signs in the heavens. Okay, come over here. <clears throat> Don't forget about before this attack from Hamas on Israel. What were they telling you about? Or what this information came out about a draft? You know, so the, the wars in the Middle East is, is, is popping, which that's one of the final pieces to the puzzle of the of the end time prophecies. The third woe that's coming quickly, the MOTB. Now, the third woe is not going to fully pop off until the MOTB is implemented on a worldwide scale, which, you know, according to the apostles, <clears throat> you know, I was watching this lesson. He said he believes we're just a few months away from that, which I believe so too. I don't know about I hope and believe we are so too, man. Okay, because the quicker these these uh, MOT gets implemented, 
you know, the quicker the third wall is going to come, the quicker the Yahweh Shire and the deliverance and the destruction of this place is going to come. And that's going to usher in an everlasting kingdom ruled by Yahweh Shire, his elect, his joint heirs, the one third. <clears throat> okay. These are the things that are, that are coming, man. All right. So our job uh, is pushing this truth is, is, is just about coming to an end. All right. This is from Shed the Fan playing Henry Groover. When Israel sends troops into Gaza, it will be the sign. It will be a sign the Middle East war has started. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let me see if this will. Let me see if this will bring up, man. There's always something, you know. Like earlier today, I had to, uh, you know, I had to pretty much replace my tire, you know, come out from work and the, the tire's flat, you know. Okay, there it goes. So, so War News 24-7 says, Historic mission, joint U.S.-Israel operation to rescue 150 hostages. Delta Force, SEAL Team 6, and Shai, Shai Tet 13 will enter the heart of Gaza. So they're already sending uh, to teams into Gaza on rescue missions. Okay? Coordinated attacks. Now, this is from Henry Groover. When Israel sends troops into Gaza, it will be a sign the Middle East War has started. So uh, I leave a question. You know, has the Middle East War started? You know, because this is a very hot topic right now. Okay? And I'm not even going into the articles. I'm just reading the titles because there's so much information. You know, Israel Hamas <clears throat> with the firepower of two aircraft carriers. Israel goes to war with Hezbollah. The U.S. also sends the USS D. White, D. Eisenhower with its battles group. Hezbollah and Iranian guards open front against Israel Golan. Fierce fighting in Lebanon. ATGM coordinate fires against Merkava, phosphorus bombs fall, right? Is Hamas seeking an Israeli ground operation? He executed Israelis and beheaded babies. Iran's threat to Israel, the first big step has been taken. And Iran, according to the scripture, all right, their biblical nationality is Persia. When you go to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, they're a major piece of the puzzle, all right? <laughs> Shocking videos from the invasion of Hamas, Islamists, and Israeli military bases. Russians, there was a massacre inside the barracks. There was no guard. See, just like those people over there, you know, they were just partying. And the paragliders came in. They, were, they thought shit was cool. You know, it's a lock. I ain't bring out <coughs> any scriptures yet. But, you know, we'll, we'll get into it, you know. Lord willing, this video comes up, man. Now there's no network connection. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can't make this shit up, man. <clears throat> All right, this was up a, uh, just a minute ago. So now it's not working. Let me see. All right, whatever. Go into the prophecies. This is Matthew 24 and verse 32. The parable of the fig tree, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it for his leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, when you shall see all these things, know that it's near even at the door. So that's why I wanted to show you the earthquakes, the wars, the rumors of wars, you know, the draft, you know, different things of that nature. All right. Because we're here. Verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Right. And this is what happened in the good old whore of Babylon. Okay? Daily Mail. Ferry as Palestinian protesters waves a swastika at anti-Israel rally in New York City's Times Square. This is, this is in the heart of America. Okay? 
as thousands of demonstrators take to the streets across the U.S. while rockets and gunfire flies in the Middle East. So this has the whole world in an uproar. And that's in New York, the Empire State, you know. This is Matthew 24, 32. Let's look at the commentary there, right? Ellicott's commentary for English readers. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, as in so many other instances. We may think of the words as illustrated by a living example. Both time and place make this probable. It was on the Mount of Olives when there as now fig trees were found as well as olives. And the season was that of early spring when the flowers appeared on the earth and the fig tree put it forth their green figs. And what our Lord teaches is that as surely as the fresh green foliage of the fig tree is a sign of summer, so shall the signs of which he speaks portend the coming of the Son of Man. Read that again. So it says, As surely as the fresh green foliage of the fig tree is a sign of summer, so shall the signs of which he speaks pretend the coming of the Son of Man. So these are signs of Yahweh Shai coming back. Okay? And we're excited. You know, the true believers right now, they're amped. You know, you don't have a lot more of, of the elect waking up if they're not already sealed, you know, as we get closer and closer to the end. It's the 11, 12 hour Israelites, you know. Look at this. This goes in on the pestilence, does it not? Second bird flew death on record in Cambodia. Okay. <clears throat> So now, let's go back. Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. See, all, all these things must come to pass, man. Okay, the wars, rumors of wars. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So we're living in the times of the beginning of sorrows. Okay? Birth pains. All right? And all of these pains, you know, all of these sorrows, they're just going to increase. Strong's G, 5604, Odin, Odin. All right, and that goes into the pain of childbirth, intolerable anguish. That's what's getting ready to come upon the world, man, right? So let's check this out. <clears throat> Actually, let's go here, man, because a lot of people will be drafted for the Stirrus World War. They're going to get sent over to the Middle East. And they ain't going to come home because that's a war that, you know, Babylon the Great ain't going to win. Get ready. The U.S. military industrial complex is planning a military draft so Babylonians can fight the bankers third world war. The bankers have once again screwed the pooch financially, meaning another world war soon on the way. The trillions they have stolen from society via their money printing press, the corrupt stock market, and aid to Ukraine, and also in the Holy Land, okay, which that's going to uptick now with this going on, means the economy system is once again on the verge of a collapse, which always means war is soon to come as a cover, right? Both major political parties, blue and red, have become pro-war because war is the pillow of Babylonian society. Without endless violence and bloodshed, all that prosperity will cease to exist. War is a racket, stated Smetley D. Bucker back in 1935, fighting in four major conflicts. It is possibly the oldest, easily the most profitable, surely the most vicious. It is the only one international in scope. Is the only one in which the profits are reckoned in dollars and losses and lives. The problem today, though, 
is that Babylonians are tired of sending their children off to die for the bankers. This means the bankers, through their political puppets, could attempt to institute a draft. And I could see this happening. Okay? Related. Babylonians are being psychologically programmed by the globalist overlords for nuclear Armageddon, climate lockdowns, and the unleashing of the third woe that coming quickly. Okay? This is uh this article ain't ain't too long. You know, I guess I'll read it just a little more. It says the bankers won't stop until they have taken over the world and they'll murder your children if necessary, uh, in order to do it. Okay? While it is true that some two point one million people are currently employed by the US defense industry in some way, shape or form, many soldiers, if you can call them that, are too fat, too transformer. And ultimately too weak to get the job done. <laughs> that says a lot about this man's military. And it tells you. <clears throat> I believe this is in uh, Nahum. Yep. This is Nahum 3. Now let's, go, let's go to that in the Bible. Hub. Let's get the different translations. This is Nahum 3.13 and IV. Look at your troops. They are all weaklings. The gates of your land are wide open to your enemies. And we just had, well, still even to this very second, you have a lot of, you know, you have a lot of enemy combatants, I'll put it that way, coming up through the border. And they have bad intentions toward Babylonians. Okay? It says, the gate of your land are wide open to your enemies. Fire has consumed the bars of your gates, and that's going to happen through nuclear destruction, right? That's NIV, Nahum 3.13. This is KJV. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women, okay? They're transformed, literal women in the military. You know, when you compare the military of Babylon to uh, that of China and Russia, it's a joke. It's a complete joke, okay? India, the gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thy enemies, the fire shall devour thy bars. Okay? So let's go to second letter. See, this is going to happen to these people in the military. Okay? Mass death is coming, man. We're, we're just pushing the message of uh, prophecy. Yes, we're addicted to prophecy. We're telling you to repent. Okay? This is second letter 16. And verse, um, this whole, this, I could really start at 18, you know, but I'm, I'm going to actually start at 27, okay? It says, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. So that's how bad it's going to get. You know, that's how much people are going to be, you know, uh, motherfuckers going to be sent to their maker, okay? City's going to be absent of people. It's going to be like, I am legend. You know, please say hello to me. For of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks, and that's people bug out, which you always hear about people in their bug out bags and you know things of that nature. As in the orchard of olives upon every tree, there are left three or four olives. Or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so in those days there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And that's martial law. That's a different militias. That's your wicked ass neighbor coming to take what you got. That's gangs. Okay? Because people you have people think they're gonna bug in. Hey, the scripture says that, you know, second and uh and down in the second and sixteen they shall cast them out their houses and take away their goods. Okay, matter of fact, I'm here. Let's, let's just jump down and get it. This is verse. Verse 71. They shall be like madmen. Yeah, the super soldiers, you know, different and militias that's here, UN troops, sparing none, 
but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's ultimately the children of Israel. For they shall waste and take away their goods, meaning everything you've been prepping, and cast them out of their houses, put your ass out on the streets, man. Right? Set you up to be taken away to a sea camp. Then shall it be known who are my children at that time. You know, the most High is going to make it known who is dealing with, who is elect are, who is men are. And they shall be tried as gold and the, and the fire is going to be a time of trying. Okay, the hour of temptation. Okay. Hear ye, O my beloved, said the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai. The days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. And this is a message of hope to the elect. That yes, trouble is coming, but yes, deliverance is also right there. Okay. So up in second under sixteen. Thirty two. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Here it goes to my point. The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. Okay? The woman shall mourn, having no husbands. Why? Because the ass going to be drafted. <laughs> or they just going to die in the civil war, Egyptian against Egyptian, one way or the other, man. Okay? Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. So, yeah, you can see how Isaiah 4 1 is going to come into effect. Okay? And the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. I'll read that again. And the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. So, the people that get drafted over there for the third woe that's coming quickly, they're going to die over there. Okay? There's no coming back from it, man. It's Revelation 11. It's Revelation 11, verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. The second world war is past, came and gone. Okay? Right now, we're here at the, the cusp of the third world war. The wars in the Middle East are kicking up. Right? Call all yim la, yehaw ba shem yaw shai. All right? Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Matter of fact, when you see these things left up in your head, because your redemption joined not. Okay? This is the book of Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption, joy and not. So let's go into this word redemption. It's a beautiful word. Polytrosis. Strong's G 629. Apalutrosis. Apalutrosis. A releasing affected by a payment of ransom. And that's by the blood of Yahweh Shai for the bride. Redemption, deliverance, liberation. Procured by the payment of a ransom. Call Lord Yim La Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. You mean to tell me that Yahweh Shai is not to be worshipped? You know. There's a sect, a group of our people that have lost their minds right now. And they're not going to get it back until they be born in the kingdom. You know. So I'll read a little of this, and then that, that will be the lesson. You know. It says, uh, when Israel sends troops into Gaza, it will be a sign the Middle East war has started, and you should know by now. All right, the uh, Albert Pike, the uh, Giuseppe Mazzini, Albert Pike plan about three world wars. Matter of fact, let me see it. Let's see if I can just go quick. Of a witch right here, All right? A demon. This is Elba Pike. The third war must be fermented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agenda of the Illuminati between the political Zionists, that's the Holy Land, and the leaders of the Islamic world, Hamas, Hezbollah, 
Iran. Okay, the world the war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and the political Zionism state of Israel mutually destroy one another. Is that's not what's going on right now. Is that not what's being perpetrated? Okay, but the Lord told John the Baptist of this thousands of years ago. And obviously it happening. Okay. We just witnessed the biggest attack on Israel in 50 years. And as a result, the Israeli government has declared war on Hamas. The IDF is already striking strategic targets all over Gaza. But it also appears that a ground invasion could be imminent. As I was reflecting on these events today, the words of Henry Groover came to mind all the way back in 2018. Groover issued a very ominous warning. According to James Bailey, Groover stated that when Israel sends troops into Gaza, it will be a sign that the Middle East war has started. You know? So the Lord's getting ready to send these uh, Babylonian, that is American troops, they are going to get sent over there, and they're not going to make it back. Right? So last precept. This is Joel 2 and verse... 20 but I will remove far off from you the northern army and that's dealing with the Babylonian army and the different military branches they got all right the Marines the army the Air Force etc different seals and will drive him into a land barren and desolate that's over there in the Middle East with his face towards the East Sea and his tender part toward the utmost sea and if I'm not mistaken that's in between the Euphrates in the Dead Sea or the Red Sea. Okay? Now it's part of the prophecy. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he had done great things. Pretty much meaning that they're going to go over there and they're going to die. All right? I want to see what that says in the Bible. Huh? Matter of fact. Let's see what that commentary says. NIV, I will drive the northern horde far from you, pushing into a, to a parched and barren land. Its eastern ranks were drawn in the Dead Sea, and its western ranks in the Mediterranean Sea. And its stench will go up, its smell will rise. Surely he has done great things. <laughs> right? So with that, you know, I'm going to close it. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and those of the great millstone. Shalom to the elect.